Yeah, I just bought the uh, Rip Curl uh, E-Bomb E6 wetsuit. The E7's out now, but I thought I'd get this one because it's $100 cheaper at $450. And I don't really need a flashy wetsuit. Anyway, um, I thought I'd just show how it works. So this is the back of the wetsuit, and you've got this zip through, so there's no zipper at the back. E6, E6 E bomb tube, three by two millimeter seal. There's that system of all this string here. Then you clamp this down and it locks it once you're in there. We're free to get in there, loosen it up. So I really want to show the wetsuit works. It doesn't have a zipper, that's the front, and that's the back now zipper. It has this system. It folds over, which is quite good. But the front has this string you pull. So when you put it on, you just pull this tight and then clamp it down. Before you get in the wetsuit, you have to loosen this string in. So it's the string's all in there. Then this flap you fold over. And it's like a sausage skin. Get into it like that. Yeah. Put your legs in first and then the arms and you bring it up. And then the last one that you put this over your head. That's basically how you get into it. There's plenty of videos showing how to do that. Um, but what I found is very comfortable to wear. It's got this nice look on the inside, this smooth like a smoothy skin and flat stitched which goes around your neck so you don't actually need a rash shirt and a lot of the seams are glued and taped so basically you have no zipper you just have this bit you hop into which goes right up to your shoulders so there's no holes anywhere no zipper anywhere and then this bit flips over so there's just no way water's going to get into the thing. The other things, so you look at the front, there's no stitching for a lot of it. And it has a nice key ring thing here. And it's magnetic, it's got a magnetic thing which connects. Put your car key there. The only problem is most keys these days are electric, so you don't want to put the electric one in there. So I probably won't even use it. I've got this lock I put on the doorknob. Anyway, it's better than nothing. You got your knee pads, which is pretty good. Um, and then at the bottom, it's got this smoothy skin stuff as well. Just stop it fraying. So that's glued and taped there as well, down at the leg bottom and tape to make it stronger so you don't tear it. But I think the arms are the same. Yep, glued and taped. What does it say here? Size L. It's good. The other arms are the same, glued and taped. Um, it's very stretchy and comfortable. The internal has this special material it's like a it feels like a jumper it's really fluffy it's supposed to keep the heat in yeah so what i noticed is that the wetsuit's really easy to put on i'm over 50 now and i used to have the other wetsuits where you have the zipper at the back and nowadays i can't even reach down to the small of my back like i used to be able to so i can't my old wetsuit i can't even zip it up so these are a lot easier. So you basically just go like this, put your legs in, bang, bang, then bring it up to you, put your knees in, bring it up, then get one arm in and the other, then bring it up, and then you flip it over. So it was really easy to put on, and it's nice and flexible and very comfortable to wear. So I can't wait to actually wear it in the ocean. I'll do a video after that too. So just to show the insides. 
So three mil for the body and two and it's two for the arms and I think it's three on the legs still. Nice blue colour. I only had black. I wouldn't have mind another colour. But anyway, black's not bad. Back of the suit has got these extra um, bits to stop it from tearing for It looks like, I wasn't sure, it looks like all the seams are glued and some parts are actually taped as well. So as you see, it's, you can see the glue there. I just wanted to see if all the stitching, yeah, that looks glued. glued. Yeah, it all looks like every single seam's glued. Oh, that's fantastic, that means no water's getting in. And a lot of taping around the knee pad. That's gonna be nice and tough. Yep, it's glued right down the leg. Where one piece of material meets the other, they've got it taped as well at the junction. And then right at the end of the foot, where the foot goes. That's quite good. And this is that, where you get in. So it's got one big bit you get into. And the flap, this is the flap which goes over the top of your head. That's basically the only hole in the whole wetsuit, that bit there. So that goes right up to your shoulders. And then you just put that flap over your head. It's pretty impressive. They've got the E7 out now, which is even more flexible. But it was an extra $100, 550 and I didn't think my surfing ability, I haven't really surfed much in the last 10 years, warranted such a performance wetsuit. I think I'll, I'll be quite happy with this and you know, it'll probably last me the rest of my life. You don't need to wear a rash shirt. You can see why it's nice and soft, everything's flat. Yep, quite happy with that. Rip curl. Always buy rip curl with this. It's very crawling. It looks really small but it stretches up. <sighs> also to note, when I bought that wetsuit, for four hundred fifty dollars, they go through in this wetsuit bag as well, which can be used as a cooler as well. With it has a pocket for drinks and stuff. That's pretty good. That was sixty bucks. Got that thrown in once I bought the wetsuit. I don't know. I don't know if that's a rip curl thing or the surf shop I went to, which was a uh, North Wollongong rip curl which I recommend. Great social. So yeah, nice wet suit. It's the back of the wet suit. I won't show me getting into the wet suit because there's enough videos on people getting into the wet suit so you don't want to see a 50 year old man get into a wet suit. <laughs> I'll save you that. <laughs>